Hello Pisces, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for mid-April 2020. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There will be an extended version of this reading on Vimeo. If you're interested and you find that the reading is resonating with you, there is a link in the description box below that will take you to my Vimeo On Demand page. Other than that, we are going to start off with a couple of messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides. What messages do you have for my Pisces friends for the rest of April 2020? Show Pisces. I'll take that one. It's coming out. Whoa! I, I really think that this is the best card in the deck. It's like the star. It's faded. It's destiny. It's your wishes coming true. 17. That's the same number as the star too. Oh, from spirit. This is the spirit card. The higher power. Well, 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 Pisces. Nice start. I am already feeling like this may be a very spiritual reading. And we got some meditation under there. Somebody needs to slow down and take a breath here. All right, let's see. Very, very nice. You are listening to your guides and going after your dreams, your wishes, and your destiny. I feel like you're right where you're supposed to be. Let's see what we get from the tarot. Chariot? All right, Pisces, nice. Moving forward, success and victory. What do we got? The two of pentacles reversed. So are you done thinking about something and choosing to not juggle anymore? King of swords reversed. Hmm. Interesting. Not real crazy about that card. Could be dealing with an air sign. Six of Pentacles reversed. Does this person owe you some money? <laughs> but that's someone who takes advantage of you. Takes advantage of your kindness. You give, give, give. And they don't give back. Nine of Swords, sign of Gemini. Well, it's worried, stressed out, anxiety, losing sleep over a problem. I feel like if... Whatever this is, if any of that is resonating with you, I feel like you need to just breathe and give it to spirit because they're telling you that whatever you're going through now is your destiny. It is meant to be. So relax. All right, let's get some cards out here. Angels, what messages do we have for my Pisces friends, please? Show them what they need to see for April 2020 the rest of april 2020 pisces sun moon rising and venus signs please angels show them thank you four of pentacles reversed did you decide to let go of someone clean that's my clean up the clutter I'm letting it go. It no longer serves me. I don't want to hold on to it anymore. Two more cards for Pisces Angels, please. Hold on. That was way too many. Hold on. How about if we do this? I don't seem to be getting anything. Two fours. Also Angels. The angels are here, Pisces. Thank you. Six of Swords. All right. I feel like the cards are ready now. Let's cut them and get out some more. Oh, well, could be a work situation for someone. There's that High Priestess. 
A lot of spirit. Oh, nice. The king of swords is in the upright position now. I like that. Queen of cups reversed. Well, there you are, Pisces. What's the matter? Giving, giving, giving. Emotionally exhausted from giving. Thinking about bringing something back to life. Oh, yeah. Wheel of Fortune's reversed. Something's not over here, but something keeps happening over and over. Something is repetitive. That's the repetitive pattern combination for me. We're trying to break this cycle. What's with the Ten of Pentacles reversed? Having the strength to let go of your stability. So security i'm hearing security you are worried about financial issues go figure i mean everybody is right now but you may be holding on to something way past its due date because of money struggles so the first card that we have is the four of pentacles in reverse which is the sign of capricorn and that is about letting go, cleaning up the clutter, like I said. It's also about opening up your heart. I feel like you've opened up your heart to spirit. You kind of almost just let them take the wheel with that chariot. There's someone that you've decided to leave and go in a new direction. You got the Six of Swords here too. You're just saying like... It's time for me to release the past. It doesn't serve me anymore. There's nothing but drama here. This relationship is like a, a roller coaster. I'm getting ups and downs and ups and downs. You know, I'm looking at that King of Swords and we saw him in the shuffle in the reverse position and now he's in the upright position. I, I, I feel like there's like a Jekyll and Hyde or something here with this guy. One day he's a narcissist, and then the next day he's fine, and he wants to do the right thing. But there's definitely something about money here. This person was possibly your stability. This could also be a boss, because the Three of Pentacles is in the center of the reading. Sign of Capricorn again. This could be a work situation for someone, because... The Four of Pentacles is reversed, the Three of Pentacles is reversed, and the Ten of Pentacles over here was also reversed. I feel like you're letting go of some type of stability here, but I also feel like you have no other choice because you're unhappy. It's almost like you're saying to yourself, I, I just don't care. I'm exhausted. This person just won't cooperate with me. I don't care how much money I lose. It's just time for me to go. You're in search of love and happiness. You're in the reverse position. I feel like you're not happy. But I, I see like a breakup and a get back together, or a breakup and a get back together. Because the four of cups, sign of cancer, in the reverse position is being interested in an offer. So you let something go. And then this person came back to try and fix this. And it's almost like you said, okay, I'll try and work on it again. But then it didn't work out again. See, because we put the drama behind us, we moved into the calmer waters. We left the storm and headed into the light. But look what we head into. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll take your cup. We'll try and work on this. Fine, sounds great, but then we move right into another broken heart, some hurt feelings, some painful communication. Somebody definitely has realized here that money isn't important. That's very strong. I feel like this person's at a distance. That chariot and that six of swords, I just don't feel like you live with them. If you work with them, maybe your work involves travel. The King of Swords is known to be authority. Authority could be a husband, it could be a boss, it could be a father. But whoever it was or whatever it was, I feel like you were stress-free. I have to do this for my peace, I have to let go of this person, they're just too difficult. And you weren't sure if you're doing the right thing here because you're worried that you're making a bad decision. 
it's almost like you're saying, am I going to be okay if I do this? But you're trusting the universe. <laughs> I feel like somebody's like praying like, oh God, please let this work out for me. This is a really big decision. But it's just that you're so unhappy that you just almost felt forced. Like I have no other option. I got to go. The Nine of Wands, sign of Sagittarius, is about being exhausted. All of your cups in this reading are in the reversed position. Your cups are empty. You're not emotionally fulfilled in this relationship. Look at that's a four two. You have four four four. Where's my book? I know that the fours are something about the angels. That's four four four. Four four four. There are angels and they are everywhere around you with an exclamation point. You are completely loved and supported and guided by many heavenly beings and you have nothing to fear. Well, exactly what I was trying to say. The book just summed it up for me. Some, sometimes that, the books just, they just say it so much better than I do. <laughs> Spirit's message to you today is that, yes, you're doing the right thing, and yes, you're going to be fine, if you're asking yourself that question. But I feel like you decided to leave this person, go away, let go of the money, move into the calmer waters, but I feel like they came back. They wanted to talk. Because judgment in reverse is also about bringing something back to life, that it's regeneration, you know, when it's in reverse, it's procrastination and indecision like you can't decide this person is not going to change the wheel of fortune in reverse I usually say there needs to be a change but king of swords mm -mm. this person is set in their ways they just are who they are and it's almost like you need to realize that if you're going to continue to be in a relationship with this person you just kind of have to accept them for who they are. But the Nine of Wands is about being guarded. So it's almost like they came back with this offer over here. And you're like, all right, I'll talk to you. But I, you're, you're standoffish. I'm not letting you back into my life like 100%. But I'll open up the lines of communication just to keep the peace. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn in the center of the reading. No cooperation. We don't get along. We don't work well together. This person really brings you down. Because it's like every time you talk to them or communicate with them or something, they knock down your vibration. It's like you lose motivation or something. Like the King of Swords can be very harsh in his judgment, also very cold. I feel like you're being judged by this person, almost like you're saying to yourself, can, can I ever do anything right in their eyes? If I accept them the way that they are, why can't they just accept me the way that I am? I feel like you're very giving, very giving, very loving. I feel like you're giving this person too much, honestly. That's also my card of broken promises. This person just tells you that they're going to do things, they're going to change, they're going to be a better person. And then they don't do it. Your heart has been broken, I feel like, many times. We left the storm, and here comes another storm. They're just not dedicated to put effort into making this relationship work. They're not. You are. You're overly dedicated. But I do feel like once you decided to give up on this person and you delivered the news to them, I just feel like it made them, like, shape up real quick. Like, uh-oh, Pisces is really leaving this time. I better go back and apologize. I better make things right. I better do the right thing. I have to turn into the King of Swords in the upright position now. I have to say whatever I need to say. He's very strategic. Very smart. This relationship's very shaky. Look, he's very mysterious. You can't figure this person out. It's like you walk into work and... They're there and you're kind of standing there and you're just looking at them like, all right, what kind of mood are they in today? Are they going to be mean to me or are they going to be nice? <laughs> you just never know. But the high priestess, 
sign of Pisces is also about a mystery from spirit. Like, I feel like you just don't know what to do. I mean, like, I don't know. I'm sitting here and I'm just looking at this reading and I'm asking myself, what kind of hold does this person have? It has to be financially related because you're clearly just not happy. But the high priestess is also following your gut, following your intuition, trusting the universe, trusting yourself. What am I feeling? What's right for me? I am going to tell you right now that your instinct is on point. Whether you're in the reverse position or not, there's way too much spiritual energy here. You know, the King of Swords is also Archangel Michael. I don't know if I pointed that out already or not. But he shows up when you have a battle on your hands that you need to fight, and his sword's up. So I feel like you're in the middle of a battle. But know this, that what you're going through is supposed to happen, and it's going to make you a lot stronger and a lot smarter. This person, even being like the terrible person that they are at times is making you stronger because the queen of cups in reverse can also be someone who's thinking clearly she's not letting her emotions get in the way and with all these cups reversed i feel like you're thinking very clearly you're following your head and not your heart here i just feel like you know with the nine of wands that you're probably going to give this person another chance as long as you're going to accept the fact that they just are who they are. But I feel like you're going to move very slowly. Because I feel like your guard's up. You know, they say that people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. This person is in your life for a reason. There's some type of power or strength or something that you need to obtain for yourself by dealing with this person. There's also another saying, I, um, oh, let me see if I can do it. Is God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, change the things that I can, and then I can't remember the rest of it. It's something about wisdom, gaining wisdom or something like that. That, that saying, look that up, Google that, because that applies to this reading. This person has a really difficult time expressing emotions. They're very closed off. I don't feel like they don't, they don't ever say good job or I love you or tough. This, it's like they hold people to high standards, but they're almost so high that people can't even get to that point. Like who does this person think that they are? Anyway, Seven of Cups in reverse, sign of Scorpio. This person realized that their heart was broken without you. So they came back and decided to do the right thing, but I don't know what you're going to do. The Judgment card in reverse is uh, undecided. I mean, we'll pull clarifiers in the extended reading and see if this is going to work out or if you're even going to take them back because with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you might be in separation right now. If this is an employer, you're probably out of work right now due to just what's going on and it's giving you some time to think about whether you want to go back there or not because I feel like you're showing interest in something else and you're thinking about letting go of this job. You're thinking about quitting a job if this is work-related. All right, I'm going to pull, um, what's this deck called? I like to tell everyone. The Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed Let's pull a couple of oracle. <laughs> Look what's on the bottom. Life is a mystery. There's something that you just don't understand about this person or their actions. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, why are they like that? I feel like you're just asking yourself, why? Why are they so difficult? Why won't they work with me? Why can't we just get along? Nightingale spirit, love is all around. So that card comes in to let you know that if you are choosing to leave this person and look for 
you know, the love that you deserve, there's someone else that's out there that's for you. And look, Ant Spirit, time to collaborate. This is a work card. So you could be unhappy at your job. This is getting together with others, you know, making a plan for the future, putting the puzzle pieces together. It's talking, communicating, working together, which you're not doing with this person. Uh, and it is a one new beginning. So I don't know, Pisces, right now it looks like you're undecided what you're going to do. But slow down, breathe. If you meditate, you're definitely going to find answers there with that breathe card and that high priestess and the higher power. I, this is this is the destiny card. I mean, whatever is happening here is your destiny. I am going to leave that there. If you want more information on this reading, there's a link in the description box below that you can join me over on Vimeo to see the extended version. If not, Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation and I will see you soon.